everyone, I'm here at the Tavern Restaurant in State College. It's a local landmark. I want to take you inside where we're going to look at the menu and we're going to look at something that no good economist would ever expect to find on a menu. Let's go. Here's the lasagna and the carrots. We have the chicken, fries, the spaghetti, the beans, the filet, and the fries the shrimp, and four sides right here, fries, spaghetti, carrots, and applesauce. Enjoy everyone. So I'm back in the office and we're now going to talk about what you just saw. Uh, in that video, you saw me and three other economists making choices about which sides to order to accompany their meal inside the tavern. Now here's what's interesting, let's look at it right here. This is what it says at the, on the tavern's menu. The price of the entree includes as many selections from the vegetable and salad menu as you wish. A lot of places will say your choice of a side or two, but not as many, which of course invites an interesting test that maybe only an economist would be interested in. How many sides would you order if the marginal cost of those sides was zero? At least in, in this case, everyone sort of just chose to order the things that they wanted anyway. Um, so one of the interesting things about economic theory is if the marginal cost is zero, well then the marginal benefit only ha can be very small and you can still choose to order it. So I was the one filming the sides in the scene. At the very end I showed you the last four sides. Those happened to be my four sides. And some of my uh, colleagues said, Dirk, you don't need four sides. And the truth is, I really didn't need four sides. But when I looked at this menu over here, I thought to myself, which of these things might I like to try? And I thought, well, I like french fries. I like applesauce. I like a little plate of spaghetti. And I like carrots with walnuts. Those were the four things I ordered to go along with the shrimp that I had ordered in the uh, video as well. Uh, this is just one way of thinking about how economics can be used to explain the choices that people make. But perhaps more importantly, Here's the tavern offering essentially an unlimited amount of food to go along with the meal, and they're banking on something. They're banking on the fact that the average person is going to experience diminishing marginal utility from food. And if that's the case, you order the, the meal, you think about which of the sides complement the meal. You might choose one or two or, or three, or in my case four, right? But you're not going to say, just bring me all of the slides, right? Uh, because at that point, you know, you'd have too much food to choose from. A lot of people would consider that to be wasteful. That would give them disutility, right? Even though they technically could order all ten, no one tends to do that. So the, the tavern is able to promise you a very large selection of choices. I think this makes customers happy. I think it works for the tavern. Right? And, and at the same time, um, they're counting on the fact that most people wouldn't abuse uh, what seems like a deal that's too good to be true. I hope this has been helpful to you, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.